So I'm going through a bunch of decals that we that we inherited, and uh, I found these. And I was like, you know what this looks like? This looks like a J, and that looks like an L. And I was like, I wonder what, maybe it's initials for something. And I was like, of course, somebody knows about jizz llamas. So jizz llamas are a llama that you keep as a pet, but you fuck, and uh, you jizz on. So it's like a little like a jizz dumpster, but it walks around and you feed it and it poops and everything like that. So uh, we went ahead and put some stickers on these. Um, the woofers handle about, these are 12s, they handle about 125 watts RMS each. And uh, I was trying to look for a comparable and I found a, a, a website that has uh, a comparable, or did, they discontinued them. them. It, it was called, ironically enough, it was called JL Audio. And it was JL Audio's W0 version 1. And those 12s handled 125 watts RMS. So I was like, wow, that's a really quinky dink, you know, that somebody would know about jizz llamas. And I happen to have these subwoofers. So these are polycone rubber surround, brand new, brand new recoil box, brand new recoil 8 gauge wire kit with the LOC, or not the LOC, this is the volume knob. Uh, and then you get the little Rockford jumper. Uh, to go from the head unit to the knob and then it comes with a extreme two channel QE 1200.2 does about 250 watts so and then I have it uh, each woofer is 8 ohm and so then when you put those two together to get a 4 ohm load and then you bridge it magic okay so 250 watt amp 250 watt RMS worth of subwoofers in a ported box sounds amazing 300 bucks out the door who doesn't love Jizz Llama? So, uh, let's see what else. Oh, the Jizz Llama, um, I'm working on the, this is the prototype. Uh, you may have seen it on a, uh, was it a Instagram post? I don't remember. I don't keep track of social media anymore. So this is the Jizz Llama Golden Tongue because it's got that golden cone. So we're waiting on badges from uh, Chris Quick. Um, he's uh, going to make some for us. So, and uh, the, the badges will actually say Jizz Llama underneath. So, cause I think that's important to advertise a brand, you know, so that people have confidence and know where it came from. They're like, I know Jizz Llama. I love Jizz Llamas. I'm like, me too. They're warm and fuzzy and they provide all kinds of care for you. They love you. It's wonderful. So that's the, and then we're working on the, uh, the more powerful one, which would be equivalent to something like, uh, I got these kickers in, uh, something like this, maybe a little bit stronger, maybe with a three inch coil. Uh, and that's going to be the Fister. Uh, uh, not sister, Fister, like when you put your fist in the llama, uh, that's going to be the Fister series because it's a little bit more powerful. And sometimes when we run out the llamas, um, people get a little excited about them and they start doing weird shit to them, you know, and we got to turn the hose on them when we're done and everything like that. But, uh, that's going to be like a more powerful series. So we got the, the basic one, which is, uh, oh, that's the heavy petting. So that was a, a reminder of, um, a band called no effects. They're a little punk rock band. And uh, I used to l listen to the records a lot when I was a kid. And they have a, um, a funny name of an album called The Heavy Petting Zoo. So I thought that was funny. And so, you know, that's what people do with the, the, the jizz llamas. So, uh, so the, the basic one is heavy petting, right? Which is like just making out and maybe some finger banging or something like that, you know, for the jizz llama. And then the second one is the golden tongue. That's, what, that's our audiophile series. That's for the discriminating audiophile that wants the best... Not like overwhelming super bass, right? That's that's higher up. That's the Fister series. So we got the heavy petting, we got the golden tongue, and then we got the Fister series. And then we might have some sort of uh, cross brand, something with Gonzo. So I would love to do something like that. But that's Jizz Llama. Uh, tomorrow I got to go to Recoil. I'm doing some packing right now. I got to pack a bunch of woofers uh, and get them out. Oh, I'll show you the RE audios. This, those turned out nice. The... Uh, Got to put this one together for somebody. I only got one more of these cones left. These are really, really nice. So this is the, um, it used to be the Majestic 18, um, and it takes the Rockford coil, which is a little bit oversized on the pole. This is the last one I have. And so uh, we'll recone that, and the guy's supposed to be picking it up. I'm supposed to have it ready by the weekend, which I'm like, mm, I don't know. Uh, got a lot going on right now. But these turned out really nice. Super clean. These are going to Nabor Electric. 
Uh, that one, and then this one. Oh, I got this one. I forgot about this one. So the, we picked this one up the other day. This is a dual four ohm cobalt woofer. I'm not sure what it's worth, but I'll let it go for like a hundred bucks because I know a lot of guys collect these. It works. I can get teal small parameters on it for you. Uh, no extra charge. Um, but I liked it because it had the the paper gasket, so it wouldn't mark up the the cone. So I think that's a good update for now. Oh, I got Woody's uh, Woody's 12s working. Uh, I got to use. I got to grab the shim. I forgot what the shim was, and then I'm almost done with that X. And then, oh, I'll I'll do a testing video later of the. Uh, using this one just as a clamp because I wasn't really a way to clamp it. Let's see if I. Oh, should have had a big breakfast. Oh, I'd better not. Oh, I still want to do it. Oh. Uh. Well, that's a heavy motor. All right, so there was no way to clamp it, and so that's the way I had to clamp it. And then I didn't want to risk a, a jizz spill, so I got to come back and put some jizz in here in a little bit. Uh, this is for the uh, Mio Awesome $15,000 sub. So what is it? Uh, yep, that's it. That's a good update for now. I love you guys.